Ladies and gentlemen, Uth Theron Heron, Michael D. Higgins. Again, you call to all her serum value of Galer and Shah, not a Kalura, Dock of Skananagas Telefish in a heron. As President of Ireland, I'm delighted to join you all here this evening in a warm, enthusiastic celebration of Ireland's creative community of artists and craftspeople in both film and television. IFTA, the Irish Film and Television Academy, has as its objective the stimulation of new creative production, the encouragement of excellence through recognition, through education and leadership. <coughs> through this work, IFTA is playing a crucial role in the drive for our national recovery by raising the profile of our industry across the globe, showcasing our creative talent and attracting more and more productions to our island based on the skills and excellence of all our artists and craftspeople. I look around this room tonight to a community of artists and craftspeople, and I can say that it is you who are the ones that have brought and will continue to bring Ireland onto the world's screen, out to audiences around the globe that have enhanced our reputation and continue to do so. And I sense the newfound pride and positivity among Irish people that emanates from your great efforts to entertain us, to inspire us, and to reinforce to the world our long-standing tradition of being a nation of gifted artists and storytellers. For with every story told, it, it, it takes a great actor to interpret and skillfully communicate its message to an audience. And it is a great honour for me tonight to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to a truly great Irish actress. I am speaking of Fanula Flanagan a true master of her craft who over the years has fiercely portrayed characters in every genre in such diverse roles as Some Other's Son, The Others, Transamerica, T.G. Cahar's Paddy Whackery, and more recently, the much acclaimed The Guard. She has also been one of our foremost interpreters of James Joyce's work, notably through her one-woman stage show, James Joyce's Women. Here tonight, we are honouring her immeasurable talent and, above all, her lifetime achievement, her, her dedication to performance, to art, and indeed, Agastasha Thavaktak, to Ireland itself. She is one of our country's finest creative talents, an actress with a masterful skill, delivered with beauty, grace, and strength, attributes which light up every scene. Agini Kaur, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to take a brief look at her work. Hello, everyone. I would like to congratulate Fanula Flanagan, a great actress and a great Irish woman. You're a strong Irish woman, and I like that. That's the truth, and you know it, and I know it. You are so lucky. If you put one scratch on my baby, I would have your ass. Fanula has spent her life dedicated in equal measure to her country and to her art. You okay? Thanks for taking me out, Jerry. <sighs> Lovely music, huh? I am your mother. Fanula Flanagan playing that role. It was a wonderful experience, like everyone else on the set, uh, and I'm sure on every set she's ever worked on, we all fell completely in love with her. Not sitting below her. <laughs> she sold the drink. Shot the old law. Would you like a release? 
Um, so sorry? Sexual release. Ah. Look at mine. Congratulations, Fanula. You absolutely deserve this honor. And I wish I could be there with you to raise a glass of champagne. It gives me great pleasure. I would like now to welcome to the stage the recipient of this year's IFTA Lifetime Achievement Award, Fanula Flanagan. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, members of IFTA, my colleagues, thank you so much for this wonderful honour. I am totally bowled over. And thank you, Helen, wherever you are, for that nice, those few words, and Brent. Um, these are my own teeth, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I am David's mom. <laughs> um, it's been such a long journey, and so many people in this room tonight helped me get here. I've worked with many of you. I've loved it. I miss you when I'm not here. And it is such a great pleasure to be invited back to my native city to receive this honor, and I thank IFTA from the bottom of my heart. I never thought I'd be standing on the same stage with the President of Ireland, a man who has devoted his life to honoring the arts and helping artists, and I know he will continue to do so in the future. Dublin made me, it gave me my start, and I'm actually here finishing a film, and an Irish film, and I'm very proud of that. I'm always delighted to be invited back here to work, and I do not consider myself a Hollywood actress. God knows, they, uh, I don't have the wardrobe for it, for starters, <laughs> and I don't belong to the right gym, but um, I'm always delighted to come home, and this time, my wonderful partner and husband, Garrett O'Connor, is with me, and my truly devoted manager, Lawrence Kubik, and many, many friends in the room who helped me get here. But I also would like to thank, way back when, my parents, who are somewhere listening, and my family members, who were my siblings, who sat in the kitchen when I wrote small plays and demanded that they all be in them, and behaved like a tyrant, and uh, 
They were supportive and loving, and I am grateful for that, wherever they are scattered in the world. To the schools I went to, to Skullwira, which taught me Gaelge, and uh, which made me speak it all day long, and I am eternally grateful for that, because it opened a world of literature to me, much of which has not been translated into any other language. And I savour and I relish and I cherish the fact that I have a native language that is not English or anything else. Um. And I laud T.G. Cahar and RTE who have the courage to venture into programmes that are daring made in the Irish language and long may they continue to do so. Um, I'm also grateful to Skull Katrina where I continued my schooling and to Sandy Mont High School and all the people there who put up with me and uh, passed me in subjects and sometimes honoured me and failed me in a lot of subjects. I'm grateful to Miss Piggott who put me out of the choir because it solved a great problem for me that I'd never have to sing again. <laughs> so uh, you will never hear me in a musical. And, um, it's been a long, long journey, but it's been a wonderful one. As I told some young actors the other day um, when I was giving a master class, I said, you know, starting out as you are, be prepared for the fact that you will get your heart broken many, many times, and you will be rejected many, many times. But then will come that moment when you have a role and you're playing it and you know you've nailed it and you know you're in a state of grace. And that is a moment of such inordinate bliss that it can be not compared with anything. And I include chocolate cake and sex in that. <laughs> so um, thank you very much. And, uh, I'm also, I must say, tremendously delighted to be in the company of such talented people this evening in the various categories. To be in this room with you uh, alone is uh, wonderful. And I suspect that as our president has told us and so lauded the native Irish industry, the film industry, the burgeoning Irish film industry, and as he supports it and gives it such high praise and the people who work in it, I suspect that it is not the captains of industry, much though we have much to be grateful to them for, it is not the captains of industry from Ireland who will make her take her place among the nations of the earth. It is her artists and indeed her filmmakers. And I hope I will be among them. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.